I am so proud of the following scene here. I was rapping just a cappella, a line from that song. Is this by accident the same beats per minute? No way. I had to edit almost nothing. I can't believe how well it fits. Holy f Yo, 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 yo! How's it going, everybody? Not gonna lie, the C4 review I made honestly reignited me. And I'm still so proud of this video. Like, from top to bottom, just... Mwah. I could even watch it now. Do you, like, anyone who's here regularly know how much this means. We could go through this video now together. I can... I'm still in that phase where I can watch it. Uh, what? You would not watch Control during during Hot Ones. Yeah, I know, but this video, man, I am so goddamn proud of it, motherfucker. It's just the best. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, The problem with this video was, you know, it got interrupted so many times. Maybe you have noticed that at various stages of the videos, I have different hair length <laughs> and different beard growth. <laughs> if you want, guys, we can go through it like a little bit step by step and I can give my thoughts. Director's commentary. Listen, when I used to buy Blu-ray DVDs, I would always go for the director's commentary. I love that shit. So in this scene, I told Brad Pitt... Uh... Oh, man. So... Uh, first interesting thing. I'm the meat chef. So I'm here, chef. in this intro, there was originally a lot more drawing th sh a plant. You know, the, the, the draw on sh that you, when I draw on the sh So this one, obviously, then the flames on the ground. I removed a lot of it because I thought it was kind of overkill. And you guys don't even know. I don't know how many uh, of my videos you've seen, but you don't see all the sh that I cut from videos. This is the most painful thing. I, when I talk to Caesar, he says the most painful part of making a game is cutting content and making compromises. It's necessary, but it's painful. The same goes for making movies probably. And, and the same goes for my YouTube videos. So I'm making a point, yeah? And making a point for me is important. Like I always say in my head, the comedy for me is just as important as reviewing the game. I, both is important to me. But then I make a point and then there's a joke. And even though the joke is funny, I'm like, oh, this drags on for a bit too long. It, it drags on for too long. It's and they're like, okay, I, I will cut the joke down. And then it's like, it's still not right. Last solution is like, okay, the joke doesn't fit here. I remove it and I'm, I now have to look at where else does it fit. And then sometimes I can take a joke and repurpose the context and just put it somewhere else. If even that doesn't work, I have to cut it completely and it's gone. And sometimes I have to cut like really funny edits and funny sh that just goes on a, a pile of uh, never to be seen. So a lot of edits here were gone because I thought, ah, it's too much, it's distracting. Also, maybe you've noticed this crazy sky edit here. This also took me a while to figure this out. Anton watching his video with us. I know, this is crazy. I'm enjoying this. Uh, enjoy this because this might be the only time I ever do this, okay? Watching my own video with you guys. I would never ever do this, but I'm so proud of this video and I'm still in the hype. I'm still a hype beast. So what is happening here, yeah, I'm queuing out the actual background uh, sky. This is the background sky. And... This was not an easy edit to do. I don't quite remember how I did it. It's like some type of mask and then... In the end, even I was shocked at how good it looked. No kizzy. Bloody fuck, Bloody fuck you! Go by y'all! And then... And then here I had a problem. That this effect here, although it's cool, they've already seen this in the other review, so it can't stay on for too long, so I did a quick cut. Bro, filming this was hard, man. In the end of this, the, the sweat here... This is real. In the beginning, I wasn't sweaty. It's not because I got sweaty just from doing it, but this is like take number 20. I was so fucking sweaty, bro. Then there are so many effects on this thing. You have no, you don't have no idea, bro. At this point, I think I've completely repressed editing, the, editing, edit, editing this part. Too many effects on here. And also, in the background, yeah? You hear the comedy song, the na na tai yang dang da dang 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 I put the these nuts <laughs> sound into the rhythm. Can you hear it? Just listen to it. <laughs> Do you hear it? Ha! <laughs> so many details, so many details. Do you edit these yourself? Of course I do! What the fuck? Get him out of here. And then, uh oh! Uh oh! Chris Rock, yes. Uh oh! And then Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> also, very briefly here, from the legendary rocket, uh, a rocket launch video. Wait, here. <laughs> I love how he takes off the glasses. And then, does anyone know where this is from? This year? Is from the movie Home Alone. When he walks into the house. <laughs> I had this like planned for maybe a year already. I wanted to do this. I finally did it. Man, sometimes I take forever to edit something. And in the final edit, I have to cut it so short. Do you know this fucking thing here? This... Thanos disintegration. I watched like some tutorial. It was not hard to do, but it just took a while. The effect actually goes on for much longer. The entire explosion just takes too long. It fucks up the space. It fucks up the... Um, pacing of the video. So I just had to immediately follow with an explosion, but it's a very well done effect. Like you actually see the sh behind it, yeah? Boom. And then here also, 
Maybe you didn't notice you have uh, <laughs> Chinese The Rock here. Buddha, uh, 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 false, false, false idol. <laughs> then here. <Bruh. laughs> And then this is me. Uh, not a single person has commented on this. I thought this was going to be controversial a little bit. Not a single person maybe has noticed, but I'm being crucified here. This motherfucker red-eyed still shot is the best. You mean... <laughs> you mean this? <laughs> oh, man. It's light speed. Dude, your brain can't... So, boom. And then here, I'm... Explosion. And then, bomb. I'm being raised on the cross like Jesus. By the way, this here are the Jesus arms and there it cut. This is such a disaster, man. This, by the way, is one of those things that only works. It only works when it's fast. Because if it's slow with no filters, you can see how sh** it looks. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's so bad. This was a difficult edit, my guys. Tracking me onto this cross here was not f***ing easy, man. It's review time. So Tranquil, stofil, take a group. And then, bad word. When Sophia and I were filming, I was so excited to film. I was jumping on the couch and I was like, what the f do I do with this? Do I just delete this? This is one of those things that almost ended up on the chopping, chopping block. And then I just decided to do a really extra sh edit. Look at this, look at this crap, dude. <laughs> I wanted it to look Indian TikTok style. That's why I added the Indian TikTok, the And I fall into the... <laughs> To the fucking <laughs> Oh man. The is so Piao Liang. Okay, and if you disagree, I'll I'll let you, you better speak a like city like a high one you're gonna Man. I asked a friend, uh, shout out to Money Badger. I need you to send me a voice message how to say this in Arabic. I want to not embarrass myself. The sentence I'm saying is, may God not bless you. May God break your hands, you animal, you son of a dog. Please send me a voice message. Say it slowly, then fast, then angry. <laughs> and then he did a very good job. And I was like, I kept practicing it. I sent to him like the final version. Is this okay? And he's like, it's okay, yes. It's not gonna get better than that. And I was surprised that in the video, in the comments, a lot of people were like, yo, since when does Randall speak Arabic? So that's like, you know what? I did a good enough job. I fooled some other f***ers into thinking I'd speak Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. <laughs> then this was also almost cut. Can you believe this? Can you believe I almost cut this? Look at him. These are his balls, by the way. <laughs> My lunch. <laughs> This was also not in the script. We were filming Sophie and I, and then I saw him, and he's always lying on his back, and I'm like, so cute. I had to show it, man. I had to show it. <laughs> My lunch. <laughs> <laughs> So I filmed the review and I was like, fuck, I need to do some type of shout out. I need to do some type of redirecting people to the streams and the second channel. And I didn't know how. Like the video was done. I was like, fuck, Beans. how do I get people to watch my streams and to watch the, the second channel? So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna say it really fast and, and, and somehow I will, I will add it. And then I turned it into this complete freestyle insane edit that I think is really awesome. It probably did a horrible job of uh, communicating what I want from people, but at least it's funny edit. So I, I'm still proud of it. So it's the following thing. Probably no one even understood what they were looking at. Here we go. Nice ad, I know. Me just talk, uh, Puck, Puck, oh yeah, this is interesting. Puck mate, he just talk a lot about real f So this guy, yeah? Uh, this guy actually commented under my video and even DM me on Twitter. Hey, I'm glad you liked the game and the work I did on it so much. Let's meet up in my school in Paris to make a video. You will understand better what Puck May is. I'm sure your community will love it. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? I don't know, man. I feel like it's a trap. Listen, I have met enough masters from around the world to know that these people always try to prove something. It, the martial arts community, like I always said, it's the most toxic ass community that, that I've ever seen. It's horrible. I don't want to have anything to do with any master and any motherfucker. I have, want to have nothing to do with these people. And they always think they have some to prove. And in the end, you know, I'm going to go there and he's like, Okay, okay. You think Pac-Man is not good? Okay, stand it like this. And he's going to do his moves. Yeah, okay, dude, what's the point of this, bro? It could be wholesome, though. I mean, maybe I'm also wrong. Maybe he's like, oh, really great video, man. I really appreciate that. You know, maybe I can teach you a little bit Pac-Mai, because I like Pac-Mai from what I've seen, and I think he's really good, by the way. I think this guy is actually very good in Pac-Mai. No kizzy. I don't know what why he wants to meet. Uh, do it. Uh, just be upfront and honest with him. Tell him you hate martial arts bullshit, and we'll call it out in a video if he's okay with that then this could be a great video. I don't want to do a video with him, though. I don't want to turn everything in my life into a, a, a content, uh, interestingly. I wouldn't mind if he wants to come on stream and we talk about it. No, but he's really good. He, in Pac-Mai, he's really good. You can tell. But this is not uh, authentic. You think real fights look like this? Bruh. Please Bruh. don't kid yourself. Fights in the real world happen like these highly isolated... Man, I've seen him do this several times where he hits people like this, and I'm like, bro, you can't be serious. Throw punch. <laughs> no, I just had to do it. Arm. <laughs> 
My other arm. <laughs> so punch, the other arm. My other arm. In Rex Kondo, we use the body system. Nobody fights solo. Bro, Napoleon Dynamite, what a movie, man. Oh, this is one of those uh, uh, instances of cut content. So there was a joke before this, and then in the end, Sofia was like, I'll beat the shit out of you. And I just thought her voice was funny, then I just left it in there. I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Funny. I I think maybe it's only funny if you know Sophia, but it's just f funny. It's actually Sophia's um, <laughs> voice. So let's get into it. Okay, let's first talk about. Man, I love my beats. All the beats you hear in the background are all original beats made by my good friend uh, Toby. It's clean, like my mine. Ouch! Nothing is. That was also not in the script. <laughs> chance or untouched, like your mom's ash. I am so f proud of the following scene here. So there is obviously a song by Arzi Karat called Versace Versace. This was all freestyle, right? We were, we, Sophia and I were just getting distracted. And I was rapping just a cappella, a line from that song. Then I checked out my beat and I was like, wait, does this fit onto this beat? Is this by accident the same beats per minute? And I put my beat under it and I'm like, no f way. I had to edit almost nothing. <laughs> I can't believe how well it fits. Holy f Man, when I put my beat underneath that, I was like, oh my god, there is no such thing as a coincidence. The great guru Lachima always, always said, if you, if you base your expectations only on what you, what you can see, you blind, you blind yourself to the possibilities of a new reality. Now speaking of action. <laughs> <laughs> Man, sometimes, no kizzy. What you get right now, this is what the people who watch my streams, a shout out to everyone who watch my streams regularly, what you never get to see. I love my videos. I'm passionate about my videos. I love them so much. I just can't watch them usually, but this is once in a lifetime moment. Maybe ask me again in a week and I probably will have to say, I want to never see my Sifu review again, ever again, ever. Don't even mention it. But now I'm happy that I can watch it. Okay, I was going to say, sometimes I think the funniest moments in my videos, no kizzy, are like the ones where it's like almost no editing and just like, tiny little edit like this thing here when i edit it i found this so f funny sometimes i find the small moments like this even like the funniest parts of the videos action <laughs> <This is what> <laughs> <laughs> the, the, action <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm dumb. Is it defensive? Like, man, I'm so proud of this edit as well. I think in the it comes across so fucking snappy, spicy. How can I make it snappy? I cut out some frames. I did some fast forward. I make the screen shake. I add the edit, the, the sound. It, it was just like, bah, mwah, mwah. perfect. Oh, so it gets fast forwarded a little bit. Bah. There's a sc sc screen shake. You see the screen is shaking completely to the side. <laughs> Look at my... <laughs> Defensive, like, on this one also, I don't know why. When I was editing, and then I accidentally deleted the, uh, the audio uh, thing for the... When I said no, I thought it was so funny. You know, this is the thing about editing. Sometimes while you edit, funny shit comes up by accident. You're like, hey, this is this is funny. For some reason, when I watched it the first time, I really had to laugh. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's funny. This was also not that easy to make. So obviously I had to rotoscope out the main character. I had to loop it several times because it was not timed uh, at all. By the way, this is not one recording. This is me looping forward and backwards and forward again. So both things in the back and me are both looped backwards and forwards in order to get the timing right. This was very finicky. It was the most important thing here was just that the last hit is timed well. <laughs> If I look at my gameplay from right now versus from when I started, it's like I'm playing two separate games. <laughs> <laughs> the burbs, they come out of nowhere. That was also uh, unscripted. Disgusting. <laughs> The best parts of the videos are the ones, honestly, that are just that while we film and while I'm editing just happen out of the blue, where it's like just completely unscripted. Yeah. And the love for Kung Fu is, is tangible. tangible. Oh, this is also a very obscure meme here. So simple, sometimes naive. Sorry, it's simple, sometimes, sometimes naive. This is a very obscure meme here. This is a, was the president of China, Jiang, Jiang Zemin or uh, something was his name. Was For some reason, there's a clip of him like talking to some journalists in Hong Kong and he like has a bit of a meltdown. It's kind of funny. And he's like, Too so simple. simple. Sometimes, Sometimes naive. naive. And I just had to use it. There was no ACG reference. There was no there was no Tak Fuji. There was no Trevor James. You know, things things are changing. But maybe the next one. Il fonctionne comme ça, le succès suivra. Look at Sammy, bro. Look at him. Oh God. <laughs> and by the way, some people noticed the post credit scene. Some I don't know why some people watch till the end, but look at this. <laughs> Some people noticed it. Very nice. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching and enjoying the Sifu video. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye-bye.